Hello everyone, it's PCLP here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix crashing and black screen issues for the game Life is Strange True Colors. A lot of users have been complaining about this problem, so I'll cover each and every workaround that has helped different users across the globe. So what you have to do is just watch this video till the end and perform each and every step very carefully and I'm sure your problem will be fixed. But if anyhow this problem still persists, then you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. And also if you're on my channel for the first time, I want you all to know that I post regular gaming content and recently my channel completed 14k subscribers, which means a lot to me actually. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. And now let's get started without any further ado. Further ado. Further ado. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you're still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. In properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings and in settings make sure you are in advanced settings. In advanced settings you have to go to programs, select programs here and click on change. And now comes the most important part, here deselect automatically manage paging files, size for all drives and now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So for example I only have C drive so I will select this but if you have your game installed in D drive then select the D drive. Now you have to select custom size here and now the question is what you have to enter here. So in initial size you have to enter the recommended size here as you can see recommended here. Recommended for me is 1896 MB so initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896. Now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here and if you have 8 gigs of RAM, my PC has 8 gigs of RAM. So just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192. So you just have to enter your RAM in MB. So 8192 should be for 8 GB of RAM. But if you have 16 gigs of RAM, just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size. Now for 32 gigs of RAM, you should enter 32 into 1024 that is 32768 and lastly let's cover for 12 gigs of RAM 2 that is 12 into 1024 and it is equal to 12 to double 8. So you have to enter it in the maximum size. Now you have to just click on OK, apply these settings and it will ask you to restart your PC to apply these settings. So just restart your PC and your problem will be most probably fixed but if it's still not fixed then proceed to the next step. Now this step is a really interesting one and an important one at the same time. It is very interesting because a lot of users think because they have updated their windows and they have updated their GPU then their PC is up to date. But that's not it. Because while gaming a lot of other drivers are used for example your display adapters, your network adapters, your keyboard and mouse drivers and these are not updated regularly with your windows update. So what you need to do is you have to just go to google and download any driver updater. There are many third party softwares which just scans for all the drivers and update them one by one. So if you are unable to figure out which software to download here then you can just watch my videos on one of such softwares that is driver booster 7. I will provide the link of this video in the description. In this video I have shown how to download this software, install this software and use it to update your drivers. Also it has many interesting tools like you can fix no sound issues, fix device error, fix network failure, fix bad resolution. So you can do these things also but it's still up to you. If you want to download any other software you can download it but if you want to download this one I will provide the link of this video in the description of this one. So that's it for this step. So I believe that is it for this video. I hope it worked for you. If it worked for you then please leave a like. If you have any question write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. Thank you and have a nice day.